There's been many things happening there. You know I mean, incidents with other artists. Mm. Anyway, 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 you get me? <laughs> but still, you get me, Mr. Silver yeah. standing. What's going on people, it's your boy Mr. Silver and you are watching the Afrocentric show. Big shouts out to my boy DJ Invisible. Make sure you subscribe, hey, blah, blah. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? That's my boy Mr. Silver right there. Madness. Go have a little chit chat with him. If you don't know Mr. Silver, Mr. Silver is a Ghanaian UK artist. Doing it big right here in the UK. Okay, Mr. Silver, introduce yourself, man. Who is Mr. Silver? Okay, them Mr. people Silver, that don't yeah. know, let them know Mr. who is Mr. Silver. Silver. Yeah, <laughs> hmm. it, it's, it's mad. Mr. Silver is, is an artist, you know, from London. Um, origins from Ghana, you know, so I'm representing the motherland each and every time. But you know, with Mr. Silver, I've had, it's been a mad journey, you know. As if you if you follow me, you are gonna say, yeah, this boy actually doing side music for a long time. You get me? Exactly. You know what I mean? So yeah, man. I, um, my life is just music really and truly and I want to inspire people I want them to feel motivated by what I do you know what I mean from over the years that I've been working I've had various hits across like the country been able to fly out the country you know what I mean and I'm happy about that my name actually stands for strong inspirational lively versatile artist so when you say silver no say I'll be strong. Do you know what? I was going to ask you, you get what that name stands for, you know, but you just said it exactly. I'll be lively and so I'm versatile and I'm an artist. So, exactly. You get me? If you take all them attributes, you go see, say, yeah, what, what, that's what silver is. And mm. if you are someone who feels that, yeah, you're, you're strong in your field, then you'll be like silver. Exactly. You know, you know what I mean? You heard her first right now, Mr. Silver. Naming means a strong. Interactive, lively, versatile. Yeah, I change it interactive, no crap. Hey. I change it. Yeah, I change it, 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 it inspirational. Inspirational. From interactive to inspirational, because that's yeah. you say <laughs> why they do it. It inspire bare people. So mm, mm, I mm. felt like, say, yeah, man, that's the gift I've been given to inspire the people. Mm. I mean, so. Yeah. For real. Yeah, I feel that, man. Ah, talking about all, um, your name, um, and you give us an explanation of what your name means. Um, how did it all uh, begin for you? And when did you decide to take your career seriously? Okay, well, let's say, let's go back to like 2006 was when I was really into music. <clears throat> Them times they're not like, I did do like grand music and stuff. Obviously, <clears throat> growing up in the UK, that was the sound now. Yeah. Of course, in it. So I used to do grand, and that's how I developed my, my lyrical skills. Right. And at the same time, I'm a choir sorry, so I used to sing in the choir. Hey, stuff. that was choir sorry. Yeah, yeah, I'm a choir sorry. I used to get me. I used to go to church and that. What church? Um, Seven Day Adventist, London, Ghana. Do you still go to church? I go, you know. I was there last week. Unfortunately, I'm not there today as I stay here with DJ Invisible. But yeah, I used to I go see. there. That's where I got my singing from. Um, yeah, and just been building up from there. Um, 2006 and in 2008 when I, was, I really took it seriously and mm. said oh yeah I'm gonna do music on a serious full-time thing right and that's when we started Fresh to Death Entertainment so okay the family promotions. yeah I remember that mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. so that's where I started with the funky house and yeah I was doing really well when I was in that field like I said it, there came a time in like 2010 slash yeah. 2011 when mm. in the UK you could see that with my generation that we, we felt very proud about where we came from we liked the music that was coming from back home, you mm. know what I mean? And we felt inspired to get involved with the Afro Beats music. So mm. that's when it started to take off for me in terms of Afro Beats. We right. did both with Seven Mummy. Seven Mummy, yeah, I played that too. Yeah, man. Crumbs, Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> A-Star. And that was like the catalyst, <coughs> let's say the birth of Afro Beats, now through from the UK. Hey, the, the first, birth of Afro Beats, yeah? Afro Beats from the UK. Exactly. UK, you get, you know, I, I know they people, say Ghana, I know they say Niger, I say UK. UK. People don't so, understand this. Yes. It's the birth of Afro Beats, so that means sign. That's it. If you know, if you understand, <laughs> you get it. That's right. Tell them, my brother. So, yeah. yeah. Um, do you know what? Um, I know you lived in Ghana for one and a half year at. Um, um, Sakumono Estate, uh, Tema, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, tell me more about your most favourite memory of living there. Um, living in Sakumono? Yeah. I used to love the fact that like, it, it, we wake, like, it's, a fa it's a family thing. Right. Like all the boys, where's that day for the estate there? Mm. Like, everybody, they come from the house, they chill, 
Like, it's family feeling, you know what I mean? Everybody, they chill for the house, like brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. We, they eat together, we, they watch films together. That was what was nice, to see that kind of vibe. On top of that, um, the football. Because mm -hmm. you know me, a boy, innit? So, <laughs> <laughs> wake up early in the morning. Okay. A yeah, couple boy, you get me? Yeah. Like a wild jack. Hey, a boss, small post. You know what I'm saying? Small post. Small post, post hey. Small post, my young boy. Memories, get me. you know, trust me. They were a state junction on them, you get me? <laughs> so, Charlie, them times there be live all. And also, not just living in, in Tema and Sakomana. Mm. I used to stay in Taidi, or in okay. City. Um, I was Kwesi Min Tim, you get me? So, mm, that mm, was mm. a good experience as well. Um, okay. Living in Kwesi Min Tim, it be Zongo. So, it be real, it be real, Real gata living, hey. you feel me? So we go to the Zongo, we had to chill with the Zongo boys and things. Okay. And I they see how life is like that as well. So that was a great experience, man. Okay, but, you know yeah, what? Man. Talking about your memories um, of living in Ghana, mm. where was your first ever performance? And uh, do you remember it? And how was it? How, I mean, first ever performance? Yeah. Okay, I'll say my first ever significant performance mm, right. was I went to a festival in Germany. Germany, yeah. Around the age of probably 17, 18 with my brother. Okay. My, my, my older brother, oh, you have music as well, right? Right, okay. So he took me along with him and obviously I was supporting him and, and mm. he gave me that experience and confidence to mm. be in front of people and was performing to over like 5,000, 7,000 people, you know what I mean? Wow. So that was a great experience and I really remember that experience and yeah, I'd say that was a good one and then yeah, when I back when I was young, the youth clubs mm. that we used to go to, um, that was very exciting time. That's what gave me my first taste of okay. people enjoying my lyrics and right. you know singing my lyrics back to me. So that's what gave me the first for more. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah that, that's what. I was that's saying. what wake you up and say, yeah, you know what? Got to take this Send me, send me a wild <laughs> send for me a for <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Pemi, <laughs> young or soul Jack. So, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is my, um, it's my boy Mr. Silver right now in the building. Crazy on. on the Afrocentric show. And you know what? It's live in Ghana on 87.5 no, FM no, as well. So Come you on. know how it is, man. You know what? We're going to play a tune from one of your EP2 um, tracks as well. No problem. Um, go down. Mm -hmm. Big tune. I love it. No uh, you know what, Mr. Silver? Um, yeah, man, yeah, man. At the beginning of this year, you performed uh, with a live band. The composers yeah. at the night out with the composers three. Yeah, yeah. Ah oh, man, how was it like that? How was it? How was? You how know was what? It? it was um very very good, man. You know, um, I've done previous live band shows with um, Empire Sounds, mm. but this one was like with the composers for the first time, and it was a good experience, man. You know what I mean? It's just good energy and good vibes. Over two thousand people came out to support. Wow. That night. So. Wow. You know, it, it was great to perform to the people and the feedback that I got from the show. Mm. You get me now, like people didn't feel the thing, you know what I'm saying? So it was really good. Really crazy, good. crazy. I loved it. I was there. I mean, I saw you perform then, you know, man, you killed it, man. <laughs> um, how was it going? Like, what was going through your mind um, just before you went on stage? Um, I say, like, I have to shut this down. <laughs> Said my shatty show in Newtown because <laughs> we did hometown like as in London hometown. Mm. So and it be the people are people where they come to the show where some people them they know me already mm. and it's like okay they've seen Mr. Silver sign, they've seen Mr. Silver. What what Mr. Silver got for us this time? You get me? So it was important for me to, to show them that Mr. Silver is developing and still elevating and you know what I mean? Yeah. From the yeah. last time you saw him he's on the next level, you know what I mean? So yeah, was it was it anything like performing on a BBC Radio One um, live launch? Um, it was quite different, you know, because mm. that one with the show now it, it's like live show, isn't it? Right. Yeah. So yeah. it's like alright, cool. And then with the BBC show, no, it was like a live lounge. So the nerves were a bit more because the reach is more. You're, you're like you're, you're, you're broadcasting to the whole UK mm. when you mm. go for mm. BBC to the whole UK. So. So the feeling is kind of different, it's different like, like yeah, if you, you, you know that this one there, you, they, you, they target a lot of people, you have to try and capture yeah. the people them. So that was a great experience as well, you know what I'm saying? And people yeah, felt that yeah. as well, the creativity was, was high. Mm, mm, mm. I, I saw that, I saw that on YouTube, man. Yeah, man. You, were, you went in, like, brother, trust me. Um, yeah. Who else are you looking to work with this year, like? I'm telling me, yeah. Online? I did, uh, like, I didn't <laughs> watch nobody, fam. Yeah? To be honest, fam, like. The people them that know me, the artists, all the artists, they know me. You get me? So me, I they hold like you. If you know they won't do the tune, then no yawa. No I'm yawa. Still gonna do my thing, fam. <laughs> for you, man. So I'm still gonna do my thing. Obviously, I did work with three producers and so on. I, I was in the studio last night. Yeah. With Jules. Last night. Yeah. Now you're wow. in BB. So that one there, they fire up. Wow. ATG. Um, Is it something that you're gonna 
tell me more about like give oh, yeah, me a yeah, little tip. project that they come in it obviously yeah. for the year some of the music we they work on for the okay, year okay okay you know, bro I'm you heard it like, first I did build album but I don't know if I will drop album but I will build album but you see the difference I did build album you know like that <laughs> so. okay um you got a new um up and coming release yeah, yeah. with Ari Movement That's and it's called um F2. Low on Sleep and yeah, um High yeah. Dreams yeah um come on man tell me more about that one man as you can see, mm. yeah, low on sleep and high on dreams. So let me, I don't sleep all. I don't come this interview from studio where we do all night studio. I don't wow. sleep. So I'm low on sleep, but so I'm wait, high on you, my dreams. So wait, um, you were working last night? Yeah. Like about four o'clock in the morning Joe, and things. I didn't sleep till seven. And you're here ever. this morning? Of course. Man, I gotta give respect I'm for that right one, now. man. Trust me, I gotta sleep. give you that, man. I gotta sleep, give you that. Man. This is... Man, I don't sleep. It's work hard. Yeah, I'm a profession, so my you know I mean? get me. <laughs> but yeah, man. No, that's the movement. The movement right now. Obviously, mm. IRA movement. Then they come through for London here, mm. and then they be like the new generation when them come, and it be like say them get inspired by what me and my boys did back in 2010-11. So mm. my likes of Pan's flavor, any paper you make, any star. Where would they set the flavor and the culture for the UK? Now where they get boys, where the day UK. And they want, this guy. They want, they want to do Afro beat. They want to do the cultural thing. They want to do what the roots they, they give them. You know what I mean? Yeah. So me try to embrace them. Where they say, yo, mm. you boys, mm. I see, say you guys, you make wild. You get me? You be young boys, they come. And you feel the thing, where you don't want to push the thing. So make we link up. You get me? And make we make this thing bang. Bang. Simple. Me? Because we be low on sleep, but high on dreams. And my four feet say, yeah, yeah go ahead. Let me play, fam. Let me see. Exactly. Let if let I don't see, play, I let, 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 play. let, let me see. see. Uh, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mr. Silver right there. You know what I'm saying? Joe. Big up to you, brother. You're large, man. You, Shout out to everyone who's listening right now. Wow. Bruh. The way he, um, Snapchat is getting mad here. Yeah, trust Snapchat me. Pop it around, it's bro. <laughs> Hey, a poor pair off, hey, off. Off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, we got to Ronelli, we got to Abrafi, shout out to Levi, we got to Ya Matlock, um, we got to Abalicious as well. Hey, listen, I'm going to play a tune from one of your EPs as well. I think it's Let's Talk, and it mm -hmm. says, Like It. Mm -hmm, yeah. Listen, what has been your biggest challenge to date, and how have you overcome it? Um, just being able to consistently bring out music, you know mm. what I mean? Obviously, like some people may say, oh, Mr. Silver should be further than what he is, innit? You know what I mean? And over the time, maybe, yeah, even me, myself, I may feel like, okay, yeah, I deserve better things, innit? I deserve better. But at the end of the day, like, it's all about believing in what you're still doing, you know what I mean? And mm. I think that's been the toughest challenge to keep the mental motivation within me to believe that, yo, Charlie, what you have is a mad gift, so if we keep the vim, if we keep the motivation high, mm. if we stay focused and mm. no say, Charlie, this music journey, some people maybe go land for your feet, some people there yeah, may take 15, 20 years, you know what I mean? Someone mm. like Kanye West, before he busts, maybe 15 years, Jay Z, yeah. you know, until he was about 30 something or 40, that he was, me, even got into the charts, you know mm. what I mean? Mm. Mm. So, them little stories there make me see, say, Charlie, what do you your story, Your case is different, your case is special, so. Just stay focused, in it, and at the end of the day, you will get what you deserve, innit? So yeah, that's mm. just been the biggest challenge, just making sure I stay motivated, mm. continue bringing that music and pleasing the fans, man. But yeah, good day by our side, so we don't know y'all, you know what I mean? There's been many things happening, like, you know what I mean? Incidents with other artists, mm. anyway, 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 you get me? <laughs> but still, you get me, Mr. Silver yeah. standing, you get me? Mm. And I should tell the people something, I better tell you, say, strong, inspirational, lively, versatile artist, so. Crazy. Your name says it all. You Your name me? says it all for real. Hey, you know what? Um, you got the words Vim, mm -hmm. spoil it there, mm -hmm. let it off. Mm -hmm. What's that new one? What's that Gazy new one? on them. Hey, hey, hey. hey Gazy. Hey, you gazy. I got enough for Mr. Dan. Can't you say, hey, you gazy for them. <laughs> gazy on them. Is that what, on, mean? what does it mean, though, man? Just Tell say, me. Just say, hey, I'm acting. Hey, shut down. You know what I mean? Just say, wait, hey, yeah. I can say I want to kill her. So when we hear Gazy on there, it means yeah, spoil there, spoil there, okay, okay. It means spoil there, okay, okay. Gazy for them, and you're Gazy, just say, you're wild, you're mad for them. It's Gazy on them, and it's Gazy for them. So mm. everything is Gazy. 
I bet you see now. See yeah, me? I but feel I you, man. That's the thing. You know, yeah. say, we go bring sound out, crap. Okay. We get our friend for gazing on them. We go come see them featuring myself. Yeah? So that one's coming exclusive this year. Look out for it. Hey, listen, is that exclusive that you just let us Yo, exclusive know on Rebel Radio right them, now? Okay. Gaze with them, I'm from coming. Remember I told you, and another one. Yeah? So, yeah, look out for that one. I feel you, man. Ah, you know what? Talking about coming up with a gazing for them with. C Don and mm. the rest, yeah. Mm. Um, you have given us um, the full um, the full Vim LP, yeah. uh, EP, sorry, yeah, yeah. and let's talk EP mm. and let it off to part two. two. Yeah. What else have you got, you know, in store? You know what? Two thousand sixteen. Like, like right now, day studio. We had a working studio I'm in hibernation, in front of hibernation, because another another go house. Like day studio, twenty four seven. Hibernation. We had a work. <laughs> Like, I don't work. I've never done this before, you know. Mm. Like go into the studio and stay there for one month. Wow. And just do music. One month? One, I'm staying for hey. one month. Um. You know me? This is my fasting. You hear me? What's it called? What's that thing? You me? What's that thing? I'm going to call it Mecca. Uh huh. Because you have me there now. Okay, the old studio. Yeah, man. Because you have me there in the studio now. Yeah, they do, man. Oh, my you day. Know? That's crazy, man. So, I'm I feel of that, man. So, this year, we're going to see. So, uh, after the end of this month, I'm going to see what I'm going to do. Whether I'm going to drop an album, whether we'll be singles. You know what I mean? But mm. before that, we're going to drop the F2 movement. So, the F2 movement. Mm, mm, and then mm, mm. maybe one single to say thank you to the fans. Or okay. one single I want to drop, which is just a thank you. To the fans, um, yeah, an appreciation thing. You get me? I hope I, I, we're gonna be the first to have that. Too, oh, of bro. course, I go send them to you. Maybe next like, week you go drop crap. Yeah, yeah <laughs> happy man. I'll go send them to you straight. Nice one. Yeah. Right, listen, uh, we're gonna play a game right now. No, yeah, yeah. How to play the game? Um, basically, what's gonna happen is uh, we're going to give you a choice mm -hmm. of two things, yeah, and you can only choose one, yeah. yeah for then. example, like hot or cold. And yeah. hot and cold. Uh -huh. That's an example. Let's, um, cold, right. let's play the game right now. Time or money? You got to choose one. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Easy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> time makes money, dude. You spent all your time on the, on the studio. You know that, that. <laughs> money, though, money. But money makes things happen. Money, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you gonna go for money, yeah? yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, this one is is like typical Ghanaian thing, yeah. Thank you, Ofufu. Yeah. Mhm. I'm so very cool. I'm so very cool. Very cool. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Rich or wealth? Wealthy. Yeah, wealthy. You gonna go for that, yeah? Yeah, wealthy. Okay. Uh, what about English or tea? I'm in there. I know you see I'm in there. I'm fried fried with the thing. Fried fried. What, man? Hey, Joe. Uh huh. Joe, you tell me tea you know, because I'm a go tree. You go go tree. You go go for tea. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Um, this was a bit tricky. England or Ghana? Ghana, man. Oh. <laughs> that one, Ghana, all the way. Yeah, all the way, 100%. All the way, Joe. Okay, Achimota or Sakumon? Ah, uh, Sakumon, come on. Yeah, Estate come on. Estate <laughs> boys, what's it then? <laughs> Sakumon or four, what's it then? You get me, my team, that you get me, get me on them, uh, uh, T-Town. This, this, this one I'm going to get you now. <laughs> Music or football? Hey, 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 this one. Oh, I shall tell my heart, you know, half power cool. <laughs> The way I love the both of them here. Yeah. yeah? Okay, like if you know the music, I'll go play ball, okay? Yeah, but well, I gotta choose one, man. Let us know, man. Hey, hey. Music, Let us know, music, man. Music. Yeah, you go for music, yeah? Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I feel you, man. Ah, right, Mr. Silver, tell us how people can, you know, get like yeah. your social media. Right? Yeah, we have the Twitter, which is Mr. F2D Silver. So M I S T A F, the number two, D S I O V A. And then we have the website, which is www. M I S M I S T A dash S I O V A dot co dot UK and I hope right. uh, if you like you could go onto Google mm. and type my name M I S T A space S I O V A just find me interact with me I go talk mm. with you I go vibe with you me I know be yeah you're like, like one of them friendly guys that always every day I'm friendly friendly it's just like I just they feel people in it, especially if they feel my music. Mm. Yeah, mm. I like to talk with people. So you get interact with your um, my fans and stuff. Fans, they yeah, man. Quite more. Of course, of course. Yeah, man. That's if the they feel man. inspired, they send me more good messages and yeah, you know, try and motivate. You know, sometimes exactly. somebody's feeling down. Many people tell me many things. Like sometimes my fans, they may listen to my song, something like that bless me. Mm. Or mostly, oh, when they feel down, they, they listen to that. to that song. When they're happy, that song, like they can be down, they can be mm. angry, and when they listen to bless me. The whole mood will change, you know mm, what I mean? So, mm. 
things like that, you know what I mean? It, it, it's great to interact and know what the people are saying, how they feel about what I'm doing. Because when I made that song, the point of making that song was to give that feeling. Mm. And then for people to come back to me and say, yo, Joe, when I listen to your song, this is what I feel. Exactly. But I didn't tell you that, that's what I wanted you to feel, but you came and told me. <laughs> so, you know, it makes me know that what I'm doing is worth, yeah, worth it. Yeah, of me. course, man. You know of course, I mean? definitely, man. Whatever you're doing, Trust me, man. Um, bro, I, I mean, I'll put you up there, man. Oh, come I'll put you up there, man. You see me back in the days. Hey, you've seen the journey. Bro. I've seen the journey, and Before I've been I in the journey. Know. There you go. Brother. I've been in the journey because I don't remember one of my mix CD that your song is not in. No, no, no. All my mix CDs, no, 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 your no, tunes no, no. are in. So, so of course, man. You know what I mean? Pushing Thank the boundaries to the it. level. So yeah, man. This um, that's Mr. Silver right there. Big up to you, brother. You're large, man. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, man. And thank you for coming to the studio. Until every time, man. Thank you for having me.